Hi guys, welcome to Grania's Design Ideas. I hope you'll enjoy this video and maybe be inspired to do one of your own. Today I'm going to show you how I renovated the front of my house very inexpensively. We just used paint and deck boards and thankfully I had the help of my son who is a very talented carpenter. Okay guys, first thing first, I'm going to wash down the window. I used for my garage door. It's absolutely amazing. It's Sherwin Williams Emerald and it's an acrylic paint. You can't even see the brush strokes on this guys. It's absolutely incredible. Now I color matched it to a Home Depot color called Grey Metal if any of you are looking to get the same color. So the first thing I did was mask off the windows and the roof, the vinyl roof above because I didn't want to get any paint on them. I just thought I'd give you a quick shot of my boys. This is Ollie and Leroy. They're my two dogs that I brought over from Ireland seven years ago, and I just love them. Now my kids are gone, they've become my babies. In case you're wondering, guys, yes, they are tied up. So this is the first coat of paint going on. It's just so easy. I just used a dollar store brush and the coverage is incredible. As I say, it's almost got a plastic coat finish to it, so it doesn't even look like it's been hand painted. So now I'm coming to do the second coat. I let this dry for probably uh, two or three hours and um, it, it was a nice sunny day, so it did dry quickly. If the weather isn't as good, I would say leave it longer. I'm going to start the second coat. So this one's been drying for about two hours. See you later. I had a little visitor playing with my dogs, a little boy across the road. Is the window finished and you can see I've also painted my front door and the trim around my door so the trim is the same color as the window and the garage door and the door is a lovely blue color I did already have a blue color on the door but I prefer this one better and I think it blends better with the black okay so Connor's going to just start now on the shutters and we're just going for a very simple um, pressure treated shutter these are pressure treated deck boards and luckily when he measured our old boards they were five feet long and that's the same length as the deck boards so for two of the shutters he won't have to cut anything off the length he just has to cut for the cross two pieces of crosswood yeah so eight inches yeah why eight you just i just just looked liked the look of it what do you think what do you think let me see maybe a bit more actually yeah, maybe a little bit more maybe ten So if I get if I get an exact measurement, they'll always be the same. Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah, that's perfect actually. So if I just get one measurement of this, right, it'll always be the same. Okay. Tape to tape it? No, it's like sixteen and a half. Sixteen and a half is it? Yeah. Bang on. Okay. Bang on. And then I can just measure each one. Okay, you just perfect. paint each each end? Yeah. So literally if you use this as a template then. Right. And it's always gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. So 
that's your... Perfect. That's it there. Okay. I'm recording this. You two stop having conversations. So how simple is that? There's my first shutter. So we're just going to stain it now and we're going to seal the edges of the wood. With, what's it called? Cut and seal? Cut and seal. Uh, we're going to seal the edges first with cut and seal and then we're going to stain them with a deck stain. Okay guys, so this is Kieran. Say hi Kieran. You finally get to see the man behind my camera. So we put up these wooden shutters and Kieran is adding these um, they are studs, like black um, hammered studs. So what he did was he put a little pilot hole in the wood first and you can see there now he's just screwing them in. So now we're going to give the porch a really good clean. There was a lot of garden waste and dust and leaves etc on the porch. So in a moment you're going to see us at the shutters. I bought plant hangers in Dollarama. They're actually really cute black hangers and I'm hanging my Hoya pots there for the summer. It was a bit tricky getting the pots in because although it said they were six inches and the pots were six inches, there was a bit of a struggle getting them in. So Kieran brought out his air compressor for me, which was fantastic. And you'll see here I'm spraying all the dust off of the porch. I also cleaned the mat with it and sprayed down the chairs. So now I'm just going to clean the steps behind the plants and re reposition all of those on the porch. And Kieran is doing something at the window there. I'm not sure what he's doing. So there I have cleaned everything and I've put everything back. I just thought I'd show you my beautiful succulents that I have outside for the summer. And now you get a good view of my front porch. And this is my garden. I love my garden. I'm an avid gardener. And you can see there I use some beautiful rocks to decorate my garden patch. So there's the front porch, guys, with the new shutters. You'll also see that I put up two new lights, which I bought off of Amazon, which are amazing. Kieran did have to run a wire across for the second light. I actually don't know why they didn't put two lights on these porches when the houses were built. So here is a view of the front of the house. You'll see the corbel that Connor built for me in the peak. Unfortunately, I didn't get to video him doing this because I wasn't home the day he built it. But he'd built this in situ, so he didn't build it on the ground and put it up. He actually attached it from when he was up on the lower roof. And um, as you can see, he did a beautiful job. It looks absolutely perfect. Coming up now is a picture of the full front of the house. Sorry, it was a very bright day. It's probably not the clearest picture, but you can see here where I did the garage doors. I did a video of the garage doors. I will put a link up for that. I'm very proud of the garage doors. They just turned out so beautiful. And when you look closely at them, there is no way of knowing that they were painted. So I modernized the windows by removing the plastic and spraying the windows with a frosted glass spray. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you got some inspiration from it. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Take care, guys.